Take two. <laughs> you need a little clipper. <laughs> so, hi guys, welcome to this week's update, update. with us, RGJ Trains at David Junction. The only problem when you film in advance, you get mixed up with whether you're on an update or an episode. But we're keeping it going, guys. Well, considering we're filming this a day after an episode has been, an update has been released, it is hard to keep You just up. said episode yourself. No, I didn't. So, anyway, guys, this week hopefully is carrying on and we're seeming to be doing well. I'm holding my wood here, not just touching it, I'm holding it. So, anyway, firstly, I want to show our mugs again. Those on my lives might not have seen. Alex Page thought these were a fantastic idea. So those that know the joke of GMT time, instead of it being Greenwich Mean Time, it Grace Maybe time. Because I may or may not be a few minutes late to my lives. So these mugs we're looking at hopefully now Merwin is home. Oh yes, Merwin is now home. Yay! Chatham! You need a cheer, you do need a cheer on that bit, I think. Um, but yes, she is home, she arrived yesterday, very last minute, we didn't even realise, she didn't know until 10 minutes before transport turned up. So she is now home anyway, so again, thank you to everyone for your well wishes for her throughout the period and for us. So yes, hopefully now things are settling down, fingers crossed, holding my wood again, not that wood. So hopefully at some point we can sort maybe getting these mugs out. Thank you very much to Alex. Hot pants page yes. for always helping that and sorting in to grow that side maybe a little bit more so keep an eye on the advancement of that guys and it won't be a rip-off that the youtube own store is no it's going to be our own and hopefully a bit more cost effective and bigger mugs as people said because you always get the teeny tiny mugs um so hopefully decent sized mugs as well so anyway this week's update the plan is to hopefully our oh, aqueduct or viaduct, because I know it annoys some of you when I say aqueduct, so it's the viaduct. Um, that is off at the moment to be weathered. So hopefully that will go in as well as the mountains, my mini mountain, which hopefully is all dried up and everything. We did a combination of different practices on the live and we're going with like a purpley gray. So hopefully we'll start painting up the mountain as well as Rob making his one, two, third attempt third time's the charm on the ballasting so hopefully what well, well it is we're trying to knock the ballasting out and get, get it out of the way and I laid a load of ballasting last night uh, the furthest part I'm not really bothering with um, painting I should actually check if I'm <laughs> zoomed in or zoomed out if your head's in if my head's in sorry about the technical glitch guys yeah so I thought I'd knock a load of it out last night and then I realised the little ballast that I thankfully hadn't glued down, the sleepers did need painting. So I've had to pull all that up. I've come in this morning, laid another load of ballasting down, a good, what, four feet of it? Thinking, right, knock a four foot length out, get it all tidied up and nicked Gracie's tweezers and hadn't painted the sleepers. So I'm on take three. So hopefully, anyway, guys, he's going to hopefully get it ballast up, and hopefully that top line might be nearer to outer, outer loop. Oh, while well, I think about it, our expert experts out there, we need to know how to attach the ballast to the card. Yes, because it's, we can't put, yes. just put that stuff down, can we? He knows um, because the Metcalf kit is card. We obviously anybody's input in that plays. It is a double viaduct. There is a plan for a road there as well. So we will need the space for the road. And one last quick question, guys. Um, I had people mention on the last live, which will be a previous view for you guys, but mention about my tutorials. Now, I did one a good few months ago, so the channel was still growing. Crashed and burned, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, or whether it was just the algorithm. So if you guys are interested in, like, tutorials out of the episodes and that of what we're doing, I know we're still new to it, but the way I do things please let us know and then maybe we can look at doing tutorial videos if not you know we're not bothered and i know you guys say it's our channel it's what we want to do i enjoyed making them but only if people are interested in them so let us know what you think guys we're going to get off and the one thing we didn't mention on the update of the layout which we completely forgot and hearing it off is chernobyl um it's not a guide counter 
it was made for us. Was it Roger? I am sorry if it is. No, isn't. um... Oh, Gizmo. Gizmo. Oh, Ian. Gizmo. Um, made for us the welder, arc welder. So we have now placed that underneath as well. Where is it? I can't see it. It's kind of between these, yeah. isn't it? No, wait, I'll reach it. Mm -hmm. I can feel the wire. So yes, that is in place as well. So it looks like a little area. Jesus, my camera skills. Yeah, it looks like a little area. But it's a circuit board that fires totally randomly, uh, running off 12 volts, if I recall. And it really is random. And it just makes the impression of... of well then, that's a little... Right? Daily counter. Right. <laughs> zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. So, guys, anyway, we're actually going to head off now. More gas bagging, as always. But we're going to head off and try and get this week's update actually filmed before anything else happens. So we'll see you guys later. Say goodbye, Grace. Bye, Grace. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. So, quick little add-on, guys. Why am I here in a mask? No, Rob hasn't broken wind. We're actually come across for an extra special little guest who has something to say to you. Don't you? Yes, I do. Thank you all for my get well while she is and everything. I'm much appreciated. It cheered me up seeing them. I'm just so glad I'm a lot better and I'm home. We're all this madhouse now. You're not going back in the hospital? I'm not going back in the hospital, <laughs> not after Hopefully what I've not. been through. She's Hopefully used up all her points now, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, from all of us, um, we asked Meryl if she wanted to do this and she was quite happy to do so because like we both said in the ambulance service in healthcare mental well-being is all part of the recovery so we spoke to you when we when you were in hospital didn't we yeah you did um, and asked, me to and do this. asked you if you wanted to do it there's been no forcing it's nope. purely what Marion wanted to do I so to thank everybody from grace mum me Merwin, paul her husband and Paul, the son who's currently holding the camera, <laughs> my mum, the entire family, thank you all. It's thank from you. the bottom of our hearts, eh, Mary? We love you Definitely. guys. Definitely. Thank you very, very much. All guys, so we come to the weathering stage before our viaduct actually goes finally in place. Now, the way I tend to do this is via weathering powders. And I say it like that because how I've created my own as such is through chalk pastels not oil pastels chalk pastels and then i will grind them down to create powder the only thing i would say and um, that i found is depending on the price is how well pigmented it is so some of them you will need to apply a bit more before it will start showing me effects i also usually use my big blusher unfortunately someone else has been using that for more ballasting so at the moment I haven't got it at my disposal. However, I have this dual makeup brush now for anyone who wants to go in the shop and ask. It would be an, a dual eye makeup brush. So you've got a slightly smaller one here and then an even tinier one. And this is quite thicker condensed as well. So I'll show you here. I've had a bit of a practice already. So I've used blacks. This is just to dull this down a bit and going from brand new shiny to that age over time and then at the bottom as well there's a bit of a green tinge because it's going to be the watery the ground just where that wet is going to settle so i've used a black to build up the black obviously and then the green i've actually used two greens to do this as i said because of a pigmentation i found the combination was best of these two together so this is actually the practice side I do have the other side that it's going to be on and I did experiment with a bit of brown as well but not the look I'm going for with this so I want to show you guys just a bit quickly just so you can see how I've done it so I found with the thicker part uh, the smaller but thicker one do what we, you will with the comments guys um, that helped really get the powder onto it and then you can brush it away with the bigger but thinner brush that makes sense stay with me guys um but definitely this one works well for getting that initial thickness of color on that you want and then you can use the looser one to 
get that off. So I'm gonna crack on and start doing it on the actual side and we'll just time lapse that one for you guys. Okay, cheers. done now I'll look at it further away I might actually do one end a bit more um, so I'll actually hold this here and see how you guys can see it so there is more weather in here than this side I probably will even it out a little bit more and the green at the bottom again I might add a bit more weathering or even a bit of greenery depending on where each part is going to be on the layout because we've obviously got to add that in but for, yeah, I think the weathering powder has actually done a pretty good job. Little bit by little bit and just see how it goes. That's all I say. And maybe experiment on a piece before you actually do it on your actual bit. Always best to practice first. Hey guys, so on to the mountains. Now, those who watch the lives, it would have been a good few ago now, will have seen that I was experimenting. So I literally did a mini mountain. This was just so I could have a practice and experiment using the purpley colours because the slate that I liked had that purpley tinge and of course purple and experimenting with blacks and greys. Now this is dried up and we quite like the look of this part here like bits around here basically. So this was a use of two coats of purple and then like a grey wash as well. So this is starting to go, basically starting to paint the mountain finally. Now what we're planning to do is fully get this sorted now. So it will be ready to go on the board. So I'm just going to crack on with it and you guys can watch for hyperlapse. the actual shaping of it but one thing I have noticed and I will need to do going forward obviously anytime you try a new medium there's always a transition period while you get used to it and I'll see if I can zoom in I'm kind of doing the camera on my own at the moment but there is certain parts the coverage 
when I get that right, the coverage isn't as good as certain parts. Now this is mainly down to the sculpt mould. I've obviously missed certain bits with the sculpt mould that are just too thin for this process. So it is going to mean that I'm going to have to go through the mountain again and sculpt mould certain bits. But once that's done, if, and Alexa, um, but if you look at certain parts where it is thicker, the coverage has gone really well. We'll see if I can zoom in there. It won't let me. But the coverage has definitely hit the parts where it is thicker. And obviously there will be the drying time as well. So guys, I don't know what you think. This is purely, again, we always show you the goods and the bads. So let me know what you think. And hopefully by the next time, we should really be well underway with the mountain. Then moving on to the front section. So thank you everyone for tuning in. We obviously really appreciate as always and everyone on my live that helped me initially with the experiment. So thank you all everyone and we will see you in the next episode. I think I just said episode before but I meant update. It's getting hard to know which one when we're recording in advance. So anyway guys, we'll see you later. Have a good week. Bye for now.